So if you're using Ecamm Live, one of the awesome features is the ability to use video overlays. And what this will do is add a custom framing over your video so you can look more professional. And in this video, we're gonna be walking you through how to add a custom Ecamm overlay pack for your live stream. Let's get into it. So whether you're creating your own custom overlay packs for your own Ecamm Live live streams using your color and your branding, or you're gonna be using one like I'll be showing you in this video from Let's Get Live. If you wanna download the actual pack that I'll be demoing in this video, you can click on the link in the description and you can get access to it, but let's get over to the video. So if you go to let's get dot live, then we have uh, this free Ecamm live overlay pack, and this will be delivered to your email. When you go ahead and click on the download button, what this will do was open will open up the LGL or the Let's Get Live giveaways pack that you can have access to. What I would highly recommend is that you actually create a folder for your Ecamm Live overlays. This will come in use and, and in handy later, but that way you know exactly where it is. It'll come in a .zip file. And when you double click on that, then it will actually show you where the other folders will expand out into. So once you double click on the zip file and it's expanded out into the regular normal folder structure, then you'll notice that we have animated overlays. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can hit the space bar and it'll give you an example of what that kind of looks like. And you can use these actually in your live stream. And then we also have background frames and things like that. But let's hop over and add these to Ecamm Live. So now what you're seeing on the screen is my Ecamm Live behind the scenes type of look. So that way you can see exactly how my file structures are set up over here. And what I wanna do is, you know, I have my interview mode that you can have access to any comments and reactions. I always wanna have my audio up. Should be able to check for that. But most importantly, you wanna have your scenes and your overlays available when you're setting these up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and condense the ones that I actually use. The first thing I wanna do is explain the difference between scenes and overlays and how those work in relation to adding your overlay pack. Now, what you wanna do is understand when you create a scene, it's like creating a template. In this template, we'll have all of the files that will be in the overlay section. So any images, any background images, any you know animations that you want to come up, those will be considered like your files and you wanna add those to the overlay part. So the first thing that we want to do is click on the plus folder symbol here and that way we can create a new folder that will house the templates that we're using and that we're creating here. So we'll go ahead and call this uh, interview panel. So that way we know exactly what it's called, where to find it and all those great things. If you ever need to change this or you want to use a different name, you can double click on that and be able to change that. Now, what I want to do is hit the drop down box because even though there's nothing in these folders yet, I want to start building out these scenes. So I'm going to hit the plus symbol and it will show me a new scene. This will be my first one, which would be just me. I like to keep these very plain English so it's easy for me to see in a live stream if I'm rushing or anything happens, I easily know where I'm going and what I'm clicking on without it being super confusing. So I'm also going to go ahead and click on this two squares icon. And what, that do, what, what that'll do is create a copy of this previous scene here. And so now I want to add a me plus, let's say, one. So it's myself plus one other guest. And I can continue to duplicate this because in Ecamm Live, using the interview feature with the link, we can actually send that link out and have currently up to four people join the live stream with us. So it'll be ourselves plus four other guests. So I just want to make it very plain English. And then you want to keep duplicating this until you have yourself plus two other guests and on and on. So I'll go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so now I have all the same set up. Now, it doesn't matter which one I click between, they'll all look the same because they all, for right now, are virtually the same. But I want to go up here to the one that is just me. Now, up here is from when I was messing around with these overlays before. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So that way we have a clean overlay system. So when you go over into your folder here that we have, so what you'll do is you want to go in here to the PNG frames and anything that you want to pull in from, you just go in here to your folders. But let's go ahead and pull in the one that should be just for you. And this one is going to go into three places or it can. It can go over all of your scenes. It can go into the current scene 
or it can go and show in the background. I want this to show only in this scene. So if I ever go to any other setup that we're not having to do anything extra with trying to remove it and what have you. So the scene that is just me, this is now what this framing looks like. The scene where it's me plus another guest, we haven't set that up. So now you can see how these templates of your interview panel is starting to um, lay out. But I don't wanna cut out everything that I have here. And just to give you some tips along the way, this icon, uh, that's an eyeball, that's so it's visible or not visible. So if I turn that off, and where there's a cross out through the eyeball, then it's no longer visible. But what I want to do here is I don't wanna lose all this extra framing and things like that. So let's go ahead and begin to fix this. Now we have a background image that you can use. And if you want that to be black, you can, or if you kinda wanna use something else and you bring that on top and you'll see I completely disappear. Same thing with before, uh, you'll see it come on top of the image. So whatever is on top of the other, it's layered on top. So if you think in layers, then this will make sense to you. But what I wanna do is turn all of this off. The thing I want in the background is the framing. So no matter what, the background is something, it's filled in, if you will. Um, the other thing that I want to do is now introduce you to this camera overlay because I want to start building this up. So I want this to be my background. And then I'm gonna come down here and hit this plus camera icon. And now you'll see one of me has come on the screen, but instead of filling the frame, I can now move all around. Now this is interesting because if you click on this gear wheel or you right click here, you'll see lock the overlay, hide the overlay or edit the overlay. And what we wanna do is edit that overlay, but I'm gonna use this gear over here so you can see. So if I do a classic four by three, no matter how big I make that, it stays in a four by three type shape or I can change this into a circle or a square. So whatever works best for your setup, I prefer to use a custom one. That way I can stretch it all, however I need to, however my framing is set up so that it always works. So I'm going to put that on top and then I want to turn on this underneath and I wanna start framing this so that I still can be seen with everything in between. But in, that way, so you don't see the square image on top, what I'm going to do is now move the camera layer underneath and now you see that this is a complete framing. So if anything happens with the camera, it goes just to a blank screen instead of it switching, like let's turn off this base layer to me. Now, if you wanna do um, something like a cheap um, or cheating type punch in, then you can do that. You know, turn it on or off and go between the two. If you wanna have like a zoom in effect for, depending on what you're talking about. But I prefer that to have the background. So if anything happens that it still has a clean framing there, but I'm not losing anything because you can see everything in the shot versus with this other one. Now, you know, microphones cut off, it's more kind of a cropped in type of a look. So I have full access to my framing. So let's move over to now adding guests. So when we move from frame one, where it's just us, make sure we have our background on. Now that template for just me on camera is set up. If I click on the play button here for the me plus one other guest, then I'll see that I now have a completely base template. This is empty. So we'll need to build this up again. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my background for that so that that's there for now, I'll turn that off. And then I also want to go into my frames and I want to bring in the one where it's me plus one other guest. And so what I wanna do is bring this in here and bring it on top. So now you see if I had the frame turned on in the background, that's now filled in perfectly versus you seeing me kind of floating around here, filling the frame. For now, what we'll do is go ahead and turn this off so that we have a clean frame. And now what we want to do is have two camera overlays, one for myself and one for guest number one. So to do that, I'm going to click on the camera overlay here. Same rules apply. I'm going to make sure that this is a custom framing and just kind of get this somewhere about the right size and we can change this in a minute. And then I want to add also another one. And if you notice, as you flip between 
the icons here, Ecamm will highlight it so you can see which one you're picking, especially it's confusing at this point, so that you make sure. So I know this second one here on top is the one that I want to move. And that's the one that I also want to change the aspect ratio to custom. So now we got a little bit of inception type stuff going on here. So let's fix this by adding the frame. And we have our videos on top first because I want to make sure that I can get this lined up right. Now, when you see me in the background, this is what we don't want. So let me add the background frame on. So now that goes away. And I want to begin to resize this so I can fit my custom framing. So again, as I'm getting maximum width for what I need. And no, I don't want two of me on screen, but what I do want is to change this to a guest. And so that's why I'm going ahead and lining that up because the other thing that I can change to make sure I'm changing the right one, just look for the highlight outline there, click on the gear wheel. And when you have interview mode enabled and turned on by simply coming over here to the two person icon and you'll see a box pop up. And when you switch this to the on position, it'll be highlighted because it'll be blue. But what you want to do now here is go over here and click the gear icon. And I'm changing this from my A60, Sony A6400 to guest number one so that this slot is filled out and so that that framing is pretty good. It's okay if it's not completely even because what's going to happen now is I'm bringing my overlay on top of those video images so it will fit perfectly. And as I need to move stuff around, then because we did the custom one, we can do that. So if I need to readjust some things, maybe I'll bring that camera up because again, it's highlighting which camera we want to move around. I can either hide, hide the framing altogether and readjust that or drag that camera back up to readjust the framing so that I get it a little bit closer to what I want. Now we have the framing for what we want between myself and guest number one. So to fill in the framing for guest two and three and so on, you're just going to keep duplicating that same process that we did with guest number one. Now, the cool thing with Ecamm Live is when you have a guest come in and you assign them to a specific seat, if you will, anywhere where there is a seat that says guest number one is exactly where they'll be placed. Anytime where it says guest number two, that's exactly where they will be placed. So if a guest needs to leave and then they come back later, Ecamm Live will actually remember them and you can reassign them as guest number one or whatever seat is applicable, depending on the live stream. But if they come back during the same live stream, Ecamm will remember them. So let's go over to adding in some custom overlay. So let's go to the just me scene that we set up a moment ago and we'll go over here into our animations. And if we want to bring in something where it is, uh, let's see here, let's do the, do you like it version? And we're going to add this to this custom scene. Or if you want to access this, no matter what scene or template you're using, we can go to add it to show all scenes. Now, when it comes in, it's going to be very, very large and kind of jarring. And so we want to be able to adjust that. So what I'm going to do is pause this here. All right. And so I can use the click wheel on my mouse and decrease that if I want to, which is easy. Or you can grab these boxes and kind of resize them. And what I want to do is you will get a center line if you're like me, a little OCD. And you kind of want to have something there. You now can have where you reveal or hide it. So when it comes on, you see the animation and then it goes away. So once you have all of your custom settings set up for each template that isn't going to include which guests go in which seat and which overlays you may want to use or access. One of the problems that a lot of people have is the moving around or mid live stream. You accidentally hit the wrong button and it will delete that. And you're trying to figure out where is the file? Where did it go? Or how do I bring it back? So Ecamm Live has a few tips and features that are kind of already built in to help with that. So in the next video, we're going to be walking you through how to actually keep that from happening in your live stream. So make sure you check that video out next.